this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage and Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 trailer, the second trailer they just dropped, we see Kane whipping somebody and he back in like a stock room or something. It looks like he's inside of a club. Now, this leads me to believe that he's inside of Club Truth. Now, do Tyreek get Club Truth back? I'm not 100% sure. I believe so. But when I look at this scene, the reason I call it Club Truth in these videos, because if I call it anything else or if I say just the club, y'all won't be able to search it correctly. So I call it Club Truth, but it could be a totally new club that Tyreek own or somebody else he know who own it anyway. Now, when you look to the left of my thumbnail, you see that Kane is at like a black tie event. Now, this is from the first Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 trailer that came out like a month ago. And so when you look at the left and you look at the right, you can definitely see that he in the exact same suit. And on the left side, it looks like you can see people around him. He drinking something. So he's definitely at like a black tie event. Now, he whipping somebody in the back room so who he's ever in the back room with i'm thinking they may own the club and that's why i think it may be tyreek now when we look at tyreek face when he meet with tasha he has a mark on the left side of his face and we see kane holding up his right fist in this scene so to me i kind of believe that it's tyreek but we also got to understand that my theory is that Cain is going to end up killing Drew. You know anything about the Bible, Cain and Abel. If you know anything about the Bible, uh, Cain and Abel. Cain beef with Abel when Abel don't even really have any problems with Cain. So when you look at this situation, uh, Cain only problem with Abel was that Abel was favored by God. Now, when we look at Cain and Power Book 2, Kane only problem with Drew is that he's favored by Monet and Monet treats him more like a son, somebody she loves, and she treats Kane more like a soldier, somebody that, you know, is just there to do her dirty work. Now, um, it don't say this in the Bible, but it do kind of imply by the work that Kane do that Kane is basically seen as somebody who's just a worker. Now, that could all be made in Kane's mind, or that can all be made by the way Kane interpret his father. I'm talking about the Bible at this point. Now, when we jump back to Power Book 2, um, this could all be interpreted by how Kane perceives the way Monate deal with him, but also at the same time, she do kind of treat him like a soldier. But she treat him this way because she want him to understand the game and she raised him to take over the family business. So with him, she treats him with less love, less compassion and more ABC. And that's a lot of time you see that in real life when fathers are grooming their child to take over the family business. Like even if we look in Power Book Force, we see how uh, Victor father treated him. He treated him like, you know, he was a man before he was ready to be a man. He treated him like, yo, you taking over this business. Yo, this is a conversation for the man, not for Claudia. So it was a lot of different situations where you can see the child interpreted as, oh, my dad don't love me. But a lot of times, and I'm not saying from the illegal standpoint, but a lot of times in life, your parents come from an era where they didn't know how to love or your parents live at a time in their life where they don't have time to show the most love because they work in 16 hour shifts or they work in 12 hour shifts or they started a family business and it's taking all their time to run this family business and they doing this in order to give you a better life and you interpret that as my parent don't care for me because they don't talk to me or they don't hug me or they don't say they love me um a lot of times in life you have to be able to see what's happening without hearing it and if your parent is sacrificing their time your parent is sacrificing their money your parent has literally pushed their life on hold in order to chase a better life for you you have to understand that that is love and a lot of times growing up we not able to understand that as kids that all the sacrifices our parents make is for us and a lot of times kids say 
oh, mom, dad, I just wanted you around. And you're speaking from a place of privilege. And I'll tell you as somebody who grew up in poverty, I won't say extreme poverty, but I grew up in poverty at a point in my life. And I'll tell you, it was some days where um, I didn't really care about having the attention. I would have much rather cared to have the Jordans or to have this and that. Now, um, I wasn't in poverty for a very long time, especially once I got older and I was able to hit the streets for myself and, you know, um, fill in the gaps of some of my economic stress. But I'm saying this to say, from the beginning, Kane and Drew has had a back and forth. They probably been going through this since they was kids. They probably had this situation between them where Monet uh, probably looked at Drew and understood that he wasn't built for the life. He was a little softer. Lorenzo probably looked at Drew and said, you know, um, he's a little softer, but he's a little more methodical. He's a cool head. Um, and Lorenzo didn't want a hothead running his game like Kane was, but Lorenzo forgot that he was a hothead when he was young. That's how he ended up in jail for those murders. So back to it. Who do I think that, uh, Kane is beating up? I think Kane is beating up Tyreek in this situation. When I look at Drew all throughout the video or the trailers, I don't see any scars on his face. Now, at one point when he was running with Diana down the hall, I thought I saw scars on his face, but I didn't. Now, if I see scars on his face later, I'm 1000% willing to retract this video, come out and give y'all something different, a different take. And I'm man enough to let y'all know, hey, I was wrong when I said Kane beat up Tyreek. But this is the only way I can see it because I don't see Drew being in the back room with Kane, but it's a possibility he could be. They could be back there discussing business and it could be a possibility where Kane just found out that Drew was the one who did whatever he did. Now, um, when they say that Kane kills Drew, it don't necessarily have to be that he shoot him. This could actually be the scene where Kane beat Drew to death and this could be how Drew end up in a hospital because we do have another scene where Kane has on this same suit and when he has on this same suit he's outside and he's kind of looking up to the sky like he's in agony or he's crying now two things could have been to happen Diana could have got killed at this scene or Drew could have got killed at this scene now if Diana could have got killed in this scene, obviously we know why Kane would be upset about this. And if Drew, Drew could have got killed at this scene, he could be upset because once again, he's feeling like Monet is picking Drew over him. And in this situation or this instance, it could have been that Drew started the fight with Kane. Like I say, I do believe it's Kane beating up Tyreek, but I wouldn't rule out the fact or the possibility that it's Kane beating up Drew, especially when I'm looking through uh, the first trailer that was released for season four and the second trailer that was released for season uh, four. And like I say, when we look at the left side of my thumbnail, this is Kane in the exact same suit at a black tie event. And I have no reason to believe that Tyreek wouldn't be at the same black tie event, especially think about this. If the Tejadas and Monet and everybody is against Tyreek, what would be the best time to go try to meet up with him? Meet up with him where it's a bunch of witnesses, where it's well lit, where people going to remember that you was there. You know, you may even come into the room and say hi to a couple of people just so they can know that you were there. And Tyreek is smart like that. So him and Kane may get in the back and they may be start fighting. And he may say, hey, are you stupid? If you kill me right now, everybody saw me at this event. Everybody saw me come to this back room with you. You can kill me right now if you want to, but it's definitely going to lead back to you. Um, and remember, Tyreek is going to start back working with Monet at some point. So Tyreek could finesse Kane into getting him a meeting with Monet or telling him something. Now, to be 100% honest with y'all, these are only my theories. But one thing I'll tell y'all I know for sure, I know that Kane beat somebody in the back of this room. I know that Kane is at the same party. And I know that um, it's either going to be Tyreek or Drew. I can't see it being anybody else 
because when we look at it, he don't have beef with anybody else. And I don't see anybody else showing up there with him. The only other person I think it could be is Obi because Noma is going to figure out that Obi has traded her or she going to figure out that Obi family is there and she going to wonder how they got there. And you know, Noma is the type of person she know nothing is for nothing, right? So she going to be like, okay, well, if your family got here, and she find out, find out they got there by Tyreek. Well, if they got here by Tyreek, what did you give Tyreek in order for him to get your family over here to you? So um, that's how it's going to play out. But I'm going to do a couple more videos today, obviously. Um, we getting closer to Power Book 2. So I'm going to start dropping more videos as well. If you on Facebook, go join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. If you on Facebook, go join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. Go join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema if you on Facebook. Salute to all my cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.